Hi friends, here in this video, I will be explaining how to plot cooling and dehumidification on a psychrometric chart. So, let's get started. Now, cooling and dehumidification means the air would be cooled, its temperature would be lowered and dehumidification means the moisture from the air would be removed. So in order to remove the moisture from the air, we need to condense that air and basically that condensation will take place if the air is passed on a cooling coil which is having the dew point temperature less than the dew point temperature of air. So I will just plot it with the help of diagram. So here we have a cooling coil and the air which is which has to be cooled and dehumidified is passed over this cooling coil. It enters at point number 1 and leaves at point number 2. Here it is having dry bulb temperature at the entry. When the refrigerant is passing through this coil, it will absorb the heat from the air. At the same time, this cooling coil is having the temperature which is denoted by the apparatus dew point. And this apparatus dew point is indicating the temperature of the cooling coil which is much below the dew point temperature of the air. So what happens here is basically the moisture which is present in the air will would be condensed and in this way the amount of moisture in the air is reduced. So that is dehumidification. At the same time we are cooling this air. So the process is cooling and dehumidification and here we can say that the dry bulb temperature of the air which is leaving TdB2 is less than TdB1 that is of the entering air and the apparatus dew point temperature that is for the cooling coil is less than the dry bulb temperature of the exit air. So plotting it onto the psychrometric chart, I will draw the psychrometric chart roughly over here. This scale is indicating the specific enthalpy for air, notation is small h, unit is kilojoule per kg. Then this horizontal line is indicating the dry bulb temperature of air and it will go on increasing from left to right. On this vertical line would be specific, specific humidity denoted by W, unit kg per kg of dry air. It means in 1 kg of dry air how much kg of moisture or water vapor is present. Now. Since the process is cooling and dehumidification, at first the dry bulb temperature of entering air would be greater. So here I am plotting a light vertical line. This indicates the dry bulb temperature of the incoming air. Then in order to get point number 1, we should have at least one of the properties. Either, either the wet bulb temperature should be there or the relative humidity. I am assuming that we are having the relative humidity at point number 1 denoted by this curve, the relative humidity curve. So its relative humidity would be denoted by RH1. So in this way we are getting point number 1 which is at the intersection of the dry bulb temperature and the relative humidity for point 1. It means in order to plot point number 1 at least two properties should be known for the given air. Then after that here we are having the apparatus dew point temperature. So if for example the temperature of the cooling coil is known, apparatus dew point temperature should be plotted on this saturation curve. 
वी आर गोइंग टू गेट दी अपरेटर्स ड्यू पॉइंट टेम्परेचर ओवर ईयर ज्वाइनिंग वन एंड दस ड्यू पॉइंट टेम्परेचर देन अपरेटर्स ड्यू पॉइंट टेम्परेचर इज लेस देन द एग्जिट टेम्परेचर ऑफ एयर सो द एग्जिट टेम्परेचर ऑफ एयर शुड लाई ऑन दिस लाइन फॉर दैट आई एम अज्यूमिंग दैट द ट्राइबल टेम्परेचर इज ओवर यूर प्लॉटिंग इट अपर्ड वेर इट इंटरसेक्स दिस लाइन gives us point number second which is the dry bulb temperature of the exit air and joining 1 and 2 would indicate the process which is called as the cooling and dehumidification process so over here we can see that the temperature of the air is reducing from dry bulb temperature 1 to dry bulb temperature 2 at the same time the moisture content is reducing we can see at point 1 the moisture content was W one at point two, it is W two. So there is a difference of W one minus W two, indicated by this vertical line, and this horizontal line is indicating the difference in temperature. That is the decrease in temperature T D B one minus T D B two. So we can also say that when we have the cooling and dehumidification process, it is consisting of two processes like for example from point 1 i'll say 1 up to point a this is the dehumidification process where the moisture is removed from the air from w1 to w2 after that there is cooling of air which is from point a up to point 2 so that is the cooling and dehumidification process and how much amount of heat is removed from the air can be plotted by plotting the specific enthalpy projecting the point on the specific enthalpy lines would directly give us the amount of heat removed so here we have h1 and this is h2 so basically h1 minus h2 would give us the amount of heat which has been removed from the given air during the cooling and dehumidification process denoted by m dot which is the mass flow rate of air and enthalpy is specific enthalpy h1 minus h2 the unit would be in terms of kilowatts so in short that was a video regarding cooling and dehumidification in order to explain it or understand it in a better way we can solve number of numericals to understand the topic at the end if you'll find my videos helpful you can like share comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends thanks for watching